He's got an eye patch. He's got the purple going. He also has his other eye covered with hair. So we don't know how he sees. It's a question some people have asked from time to time. And also, I gotta get the name correct. He's very cool. And you'll see what I mean by sultry. Please, everybody, give a warm round of applause and a very thunderous welcome to... I hope your voice is okay after that. Ah, oh, don't worry. I do it all the time. It'll be perfectly fine. May not as good as yours, but it'll be fine. <laughs> all right, maybe your voice, but not your mic. <laughs> yeah, no, my mic's gone through hell indeed. <laughs> welcome, I, welcome. I've lost, I've lost a mic once on stream. Uh, oh, not in the broken sense, but in the just pure unadulterated feedback sound because I was singing too fucking loud. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. Hmm. Well, if it happens, I'll now know why. <laughs> oh, it was. The song was pretty Kino, anyways. Well, uh, I, I, I'm. Uh, say no more. That makes all the sense. <laughs> thank. Uh, by the way, Flora, thank you so much for coming on the show, and I uh, really appreciate it being here. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Uh, today has been a uh, nice day. I just came down from a local music festival, so. Oh, delightful. Um, that sounds actually really fun. Can, we, can I inquire what kind of music did they play, or? Uh, it was just an open mic, but uh, I was mostly leaving it to the people with guitars and other instruments. Though, I might, if it's still happening after the show, I might, assuming my voice isn't destroyed, I might uh, be tempted to go up there and sing uh, the original version of Grease Lightning, the, the one that uh, they had to censor. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll, I'll do that one for the show, too. Mm. Oh, delightful. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Welcome, Chia God. Chia God says, hey, Jeep. Hey, Fleur. Thanks for being on the show. Welcome, Chia God. Thank you for coming by. She is a very, very swell guy. He also is a master of puns, and we and if he does a pun, I rate it from a scale of one to ten, and vice versa. So, it's just a it's just I've a, it's learned have I can be pretty witty in the right conversation too. <laughs> well, what kind of conversation would that be? <laughs> it's strange. It's kind of like a flow state you slip into. Ah, uh, all right. Sometimes I'm making puns and I forget that I'm even there. <laughs> <laughs> well. I'm trying to think of a pun with that, but I, I can't right now. My brain's, my brain's tapped for that. Let's move on to a question. A nice, simple icebreaker question. Fleur, what's your favorite food and least favorite food? Sim easy. Ah, well, thankfully, I'm one of the androids installed with the ability to process some food, including oh. ta with taste. That's wonderful. But, yeah, yeah. I, I would say my favorite food is, uh, as uh, typical as it might be, is just a really, really good and well-cooked steak. Ooh, well done. Medium, medium rare. What's how do you like it? Uh, medium rare, but towards the rare end. Oh, hey, hey, I like my steak rare as well. So nice, juicy, juicy, juicy. That's yes. what matters. Yes, the juices need to flow. <laughs> yeah, and as for my uh, favorite drink, I would probably have to say root beer. Root beer. How do you feel about yeah. floats? Ah, uh, awesome. Yeah, half the half the reason I love it. Oh, okay. Half. <laughs> uh, you like just regular vanilla, French vanilla, any particular float you're fond of? I, well, as long as it's not like too much vanilla, I'm good with the vanilla. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's there's a level of too sweet uh, in many cases. Whoops, I I don't know how that fell. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited about the float. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just just lost a piece right there. I'll screw it in later. <laughs> All right, so not too vanilla -y, just like just like a nice uh, hint, and it, it adds doesn't overwhelm. You're saying for the root beer floats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sumiel says Fleur is either a Metal Gear character or a near automata character. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Why not both? <laughs> yeah, why not both? I hear my I hear my designer was uh, a little bit of uh, a weeaboo. I think that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. And then then the um, the combination adds. <laughs> um, and least favorite food. Do you have a least favorite? Um, least favorite food. That's that's much harder. Oh, oh, so you like a variety? That's good. Eclectic yeah. tastes. I if I was if I was still uh, immature, I'd probably say vegetables. But the taste has grown on me. Ah, all right. I all can right. appreciate the subtle irony taste more. <laughs> but uh, now I would I would have to say just just the plain bitter. I still can't stomach uh, kale or I see the other the other bitter greens. Gotcha. So the kind of like, like, well, I guess broccoli's not bitter. Only if you eat it raw, right? Only if you eat it raw, yeah. Yeah. Raw now broccoli. nowadays, when I need something to pack my plates, uh, the go-to is salad or broccoli. Oh, delightful! <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine that I bring up broccoli. Then in that case, that's one of your go-to packers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the the cafe at the installation here today actually served a meal, which after I had assembled it realized i i think this will taste badly so what i did was pour a, a layer of a thick layer of uh spinach over it uh, <laughs> and sp- ate it that way <laughs> nice you know spinach it can go great with so many things you know so oh yeah it's it just it just wets it and gives it a uh, much uh, a watery taste yeah that's a good way to put it yeah yeah well yeah wet and water like it's kind of a you know oxymoron i guess in its own right but uh, anyway. <laughs> um oh, that's nice 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 improv on the food there my friend some people would disagree with you on that but oh well i, I think they i think they have something wrong with their logic circuits <laughs> yeah i agree we can be we can agree in that we can we can kind of yes we can compute that can compute correctly <laughs> concur uh, i'm trying to think of other c words uh not the bad ones just good ones <laughs> Any, okay um Okay, here's one. So, what VTuber, like, what, what inspired you to become a VTuber? What got you into this? Well, so, first inspiration of being a VTuber was the actual technological side. I think uh, before even, before even end debut, but end debuting was, was, was definitely part of it, and uh, mm-hmm. sharing in their streams, uh, and I still have so many fond memories of those days, uh, but I actually started watching them a lot less once I became uh, a VTuber and found people that way. But uh, I I really didn't know too much going into it. I, I created my first model after uh, finding a video about Vroid. Uh, thought, oh, this is a this is a good way to make a digital avatar. Nice. And uh, I I was very very unaware of live 2d outside of um like the barest knowledge that it was an industry thing okay uh, and actually some of the first people uh, western that i that i knew were also vroid at that time like like uh like velik and uh koopa fortuna but uh yeah i created a model uh, had had a lot of fun with that uh and the uh, but eventually, I eventually I just settled on to beaming my my usual Androidy self into into it once I was comfortable enough. But yeah, it was it was a complete uh, it was a complete shot in the dark, and I just kind of figured things out as I went. I was I was surprised uh, first day uh, because because of course I'd only really known a few people on YouTube and. Yeah, sure. uh, so, so joining Twitter and thinking, oh, this is a good thing to do before I pre-stream. I don't. I think I joined Twitter because I heard about Artemis. Yeah. Uh, Artemis of the Blue. But yeah, yeah. Okay. But I was thinking, oh, oh, so, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's like fans and stuff on Twitter. I can follow them and post back to their stuff. And I was like, wait a minute, first day. There's hundreds. There's thousands. Oh my! Yeah, it, it exploded. It really did. 
the past and I was joining years. towards the tail end of it I mean most of the people were like dates in October I mean holy wow so you mentioned how you just uh, when you were comfortable enough how, how long have you been at this I know you were at a, kind of a hiatus you're kind of returning now but so when did you first begin? yeah so I so I started activities in February but I only really started streaming in March and uh, I, I look back if I were to go back to my first stream it would be with like what was my mic what was my computer <laughs> but I had the right idea I was I was having fun I, I actually um, I actually tried to modulate my voice for a time oh yeah uh, because I yeah but uh, but if you know anything about trying to do that uh, it leads to horrible compression on the output end Oof. I did not well I don't since I don't I did not know that so keep an eye on that folks modulate your voice hard hard compression on the opposite <laughs> When you when you listen to it in recording, that's not how it will sound when at like a streamer bit rate. I see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there was so there was some peaking issues and stuff like that. That's that's probably the most embarrassing part. But <laughs> why did you feel uh, to modulate your voice? That's such a nice voice. Well, it was it was my kind of my expectations. Oh, okay. I, I tried to pitch my voice up for the sake of, uh, for the sake of being more traditional okay uh, in the in the in the in that basically every vtuber i had watched to that point up had some kind of uh higher pitched voice oh uh, yeah so understood understood <laughs> yeah i was just but, curious that's all <laughs> yeah 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 of course of course uh and where was i uh you were on a bit of a break for a time and now you're back Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I uh, so yeah, I've been moving around different assignments. Uh, I I didn't really introduce myself too well at the beginning, but uh, my name's Apollonia Series Fleur, and I oversee a historic human uh, data center. Uh, and because of that, I'm often moving around to take a look at culture and artifacts and such. Nice. So, I've I've been on trips and, and stuff that took me away for a long time actually finishing up a bit of um secondary schooling uh, i was i was meant to be a combat android but uh see as you can see by the eye patch that didn't exactly work out yeah i hope you have uh, the eye is okay <laughs> it's it the eye is actually mostly okay, uh, okay but uh but it's it's just very photosensitive so that's why i keep it under wraps sure sure anyways uh yeah, but I, I have been going on trips and that's that's I, I I joke that I cycle between being a chuba and a viewer because uh, that's that's often how it is is I uh, is I stream for a while and then I uh, and then I have to take a break and then I'm catching people's broadcasts and then I go back to streaming with them and <laughs> kind of kind of on loop but. Like the longest break I've I've taken probably was this last one, which was a month and a half. Oh, okay. before that I've had I had like one month long trip, and like two week long breaks for various things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and yet you developed such a following with all these breaks. I know I'm I'm horribly inconsistent. I I, I really do bounce myself back down a bit. No, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm impressed. I'm good at, That's I, what I'm saying. I'm good at. I'm good at. Uh, I'm good at at least organizing events and, and keeping like that for the future. So, uh, and I and I know the right places to to uh, to advertise those too, okay. which is to people who are not typically into this stuff because they're the ones who will who will check it out. Uh, right. Yeah. It's, but, it's it's like a new thing, right? As opposed to those mm -hmm. who are familiar yeah, with this. Exactly. They, exactly. Those, yeah, those who are overly familiar could be overly critical, and they have already their favorites. So. Mm -hmm. They won't. They won't try. They already have their taste established. If it's new to somebody, it can be like, "Hey, what's that? That looks interesting." Kind of thing. Exactly. And uh, smart networking on your part in that case. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't be you can't be a synthetic and not be able to deal with networks very well. But oh heck no. <laughs> <laughs> but as for uh, as for that, I, I think a good practice to that was bookending and also starting off with uh with karaoke that the 
and I, I had done some some events which I planned out and stuff like I, I, mm-hmm. I uh, once when I was finishing up schooling I had to take a week break uh, sure. you know for finals and mm-hmm. uh, and I came back to it with a subathon that was good but but then I just started doing karaoke whenever I had to leave and so that was a good way of getting everybody together uh, and and also that's how I realized that I really really like to sing oh uh, cool Good for you. It's, I love to sing. I found it out doing this too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's an infectious. Uh, yes. It's an infectious disease. Infectious for sure. It's contagious. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear that. And um, so that means if you started in March, you've been coming around and doing this for the better part of six plus months. So that's uh, that's quite impressive, I gotta say. And again, I'm impressed. Yeah, with I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't do my uh, six months though, because like, again, a big part of that is the parts where I haven't been streamed. So that's what makes this so funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the chat's talking. Wither says, "Sorry, we're quiet. Sumi and I are playing Smash. <laughs> you Smashers." Um, they, they're, they're good friends. Withered is Sumil's mod. Sumil Santana is another fine VTuber. Uh, he's, he's the greatest of anything in Antarctica as well as the worst of anything in Antarctica. That's his saying. And um, uh, oh, he, Yeah, there's not many people in Antarctica. Exactly. So. Yeah, being the only one, he's going to be both the worst and the best. So, <laughs> um, Sumil asks At for, least call yourself a king, too. Yes, a king. The, the, they don't call you the king of Antarctica for nothing. Good one, Fleur. Uh, Fleur, are you a true French? Asks Sumil. Uh, well, this kind of, this kind of divulges into more, uh, family history stuff. You okay with that? Uh, but, well, if not, I learned, uh, yeah, let's move on. Yeah, we'll move on. Does, sorry, Sumio, that one we're moving on from. Let's at least ask this, um, read for us something in French. You offered that. Read that for us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, uh, hmm. What's a, what's a good, uh. Ah, I actually will will read out um, the that the the one presentation I gave teaching French, Ooh, which nice. was French pejoratives, epithets, and swears. <laughs> Please regale the written tale. All right, all right. So, lesson in French pejoratives, causes, and epithets. Learn French with Fleur. Part one, to express vulgarity. So, expressing vulgarity in French mostly comes down to the worst, to the use of the word futra, which is to put, to give, or to do. But as this verb encompasses all these things, it is not in the, uh, it is not in a very kosher or respectful way. So, this is where you'll learn about probably one of the most important differences between French and English, that being uh, verb conjugations. Now, in English, there are a few uh, verb conjugations, such as, you know, uh, he says or I say. But in French, there's there's one for every subject. So repeat after me. Je fou, I put. Je tu fou, fou, I put. You put. Il, elle fou. He, she puts. Nous foutons. We put. Vous foutez. You all put. Ils, elles, foutons. They put. And the past participle for foutre, which is how you would use it in past tense if you were to formulate it in a sentence such as, uh, uh, je foutu. I did put uh, is futu. That's the equivalent of like had or did or jumped in English. Yeah. Okay. That kind of tense. So an example sentence using fu is je fu ta mère. Geep, would you like to guess what that means? Hmm. I don't know who this geep person is, but I'll assume it's me since I'm the only other person in the room. <laughs> um. I put it there. Je fou ta mère. Je fou ta mère. Je fou ta mère. Try saying ta mère a few times over again. Ta mère. Ta mère. Ta, 
That's two words for reference. Ta and me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Professor. I I I I I I I I I blanked out on some of the things. What am I saying? Je fais ta mère. What am I saying? All right. As a reminder, this this phrase means doing your mom. Ah. Well. I guess we both do our moms with that one. Thanks to thanks to that saying. Fortunately for this jeep, my mother is dead, so um, I never had a chance to do her. Um, <laughs> so that's very good, because because in my lore, uh, she and my father blew up as soon as my brother was born. So uh, we were taking care of each other. So <laughs> never had the chance, but okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's very unfortunate. I am I am uh, I am very fortunate to to still have good contact with my mom who. Saw oversaw my production, but ah, I I hope you don't, you don't that phrase her. <laughs> no, no, no. It's 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 your. It's 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 the other person. Oh, that's your. The ta. Oh, oh, the yeah, ta. Okay. That's, that's, so I said it to so I said it to you, and then you said it to me. I got it. Yeah. Well, it didn't work when you said it. It and yeah. it didn't work when I say it because because it's not a, not not true. But but I see mine would have been more of an insult because your mother is still around while mine is dead. Yes. Rest in peace, Mama Jeep. And I don't know. Rest in peace. I don't know sometimes what time it is for Fleur, but I don't think Fleur needs to divulge the time. What time? I mean, really, do and do uh, machineries of sentience really care about the time when you think about it? <laughs> My internal clock is probably very, very dilated from whatever the... I've already had a few problems with time dilation, mostly because my time zone is is, is not a very common one, but, so, but I won't divulge it. Uh... There you have it, Santana. Just, just a funny thing. Yeah, but uh, uh, an another phrase, another phrase. This one doesn't mm -hmm. involve other people. Oh, okay. Va te fe futra. Allez vous fe futra. Va so, te fe futra. Allez ve futra. You, you may, uh, you may recognize the futra. Uh, Yes. All right, the food truck, that's, uh, you may, that's the food That's the. I will give you. I will give you this. Uh, va is go. Okay. Fair is. Uh, it's a way of. It's a way of specifying that. Uh, you when when it's after the go, both of these are uh, in infinitive form. You know, futra and fair. Okay. Uh, as, as they come after a uh, conjugated verb, so. Uh, va, and of course you can recognize the te. So what do you think? What do you think this means? Va te futra. Va te fe futra, but va te futra would would also be a way of saying it. Va te fe futra. Well, I think futra is there, and you said uh, one of them was go. Was that va, or was that fair? Va, va is to go. Va is to go, and the ta. You said was um, your go to there. Va te fe futra. Va te fe futra. Okay, what'd you set me up for this time? <laughs> Let me go have fuck the... yourself. Which one's fuck? Fair? Futra. I thought futra was there or something like that. Oh. It, it's to put, but to put in the yeah, derogatory to put, sense. To put. Oh. Yeah. So, so, so when it goes at the end of that, it becomes derogatory? So I guess you could say this is also go stick yourself. <laughs> Holy crap! Vatafe futra. Holy shit! That means go fuck yourself in French. I hope this has been very educational to everybody. It has been educational. It's, it's good to be to know when you're getting insulted. And also, I'm gonna have to spray you with my um. I never had to use this before. Spray you with my fire extinguisher because you told me to go fuck myself in French. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Just had to defend myself. It's good to get a good polish every once in a while. Very true. Very true. <laughs> Santana wants to know. Let's let's wrap up with a, with a nice, simple, less lewd question. Let's move away from the lewd French. Understand? Although it does make sense to understand these things from time to time. Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> um, how'd you come up with the name Fleur? Or is that too private as well? Shall we move on from that one as well? Uh, well, actually, this is. Uh... This I'm uh, I'm perfectly fine with answering. So all right, uh, I after rolling off the production line, I chose the name Fleur, uh, 
Well, partly for a distant memory, but also it's, it's a very nice word. In, in French, it means flower. And uh, specifically, like a blooming flower mostly is what you're using it to refer to. Oh, so okay. uh, I, 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 of course, was coming into the world with, with, with pretty no expectations. So I guess you could say it's very, very fitting. Uh, uh, yeah. Honestly, right. it's, it's just a nice word. Sure, it does. It does roll off the tongue nicely. Fleur, nice and simple. Uh, it does have a beautiful word. I agree. So um, there you have it, Sumio. Yeah. And though, I... though my original, my original full title, uh, including honorifics, was uh, Bon Mme Fleur or Bon Madame Fleur. Uh, bon Madame Fleur. But, uh, that unfortunately, uh, a lot of people would call me Bone or Oh God, uh, Mme or stuff back in the day so i just dropped to that oh. I, I still get just called floor from time to time floor but... from, like say they actually like like, like like what we're like what i'm standing on floor yeah yeah <laughs> instead of fleur but yeah oh dear me oh dear me <laughs> well there you have it folks there is